Hey, sneaking next back tonight. Tonight we've got installing Tiny Core to that old machine you was going to chuck out. Well, first we need to go to the app browser and get a couple of bits before we start. Now, the first one we've got to find is CF disk to partition and do all your disk stuff. So if you click on there and click on install, I've already installed it. Download it, it takes a couple of seconds when you're done. The next one you want to install before you start with that is Grub. You really need to get Grub. So when I find it, eventually, there it is, grab point zero nine seven or zero point nine seven even. Install it as you can see, already downloaded. So here we go. It's gonna take about five minutes in total, so it won't take too much of your time, and you'll even see me balls up along the way, so to say. First one do, open the terminal, sudo su to become root basically, and here we start. So what we really want to first do before we do anything else is find our disk. So we'll type in CF disk forward slash dev forward slash HDA. And don't forget the spaces, by the way, you must remember the spaces. There's my little 2 gig disk, <clears throat> and we're going to write a couple of bits to it. So we're going to click new, primary, and we're going to make that around about 1500, I think. Yeah, that'll do it. It's only for demonstration purposes for you to show you how to do it, basically. We're going to make that bootable. There we go, so that's now a bootable drive. And the next bit we're going to make swap. Now I've cut a little bit out because most of you should know how to use CF disk anyway. If you don't, I'll go through it another time. No big deal. Write that to disk. You're ready to rock and roll. So here we go. We've done our disk. First, we need to put that into a format, really. So we're going to make it into ext3. So we're going to make a file system .ext3 space forward slash dev hda1. It does it all for us. Look at that. All done. We're going to rebuild fstab. So type in rebuild fstab. It builds it for us. And here comes a long, boring bit. I know it can be boring. So we're going to mount, space mount, HDA1. Oh, oh HDA1. <clears throat> don't do it twice, see? I paused up once there already. Oh, I don't want to do that. Get rid of that. HDA1 forward slash. Next, we want to uh, make a directory. So mkdir space hyphen p mounts HDA1 forward slash boot forward slash grub. And that should be, I think. So I'm doing this off the top of my head, by the way. <clears throat> Oh yes indeed, head off top, not very good sometimes. Next we want to mount our drive, <coughs> our disk drive that is, with tiny core on. So mount, forward slash mnd, forward slash hdc, so we're mounted for you to copy over some files. Next we want to copy over, so cb hyphen p space mount hdc boot, forward slash staffing space forward slash mount, forward slash hda1, and that should be that bit. This is quite simple really isn't it? Oh, I forgot to put boot in, what a worry. There you go. <clears throat> it's pretty difficult remember it from memory, actually. It's not very easy. But, and don't forget the forward slash after that. Don't worry about the emitting directory. Next, we want to make another directory. So, make directory hyphen p space mount hda1 tiny core tce. So, now we've done that bit. See, we're halfway there already. Easy peasy, really, when you think about it. Was so in touch space mount forward slash hda1. Should be forward slash after that, I think. Yes. I thought so, and then TCE, forward slash, there we go, then we want to copy over again, make another copy, so we're copying over grub this time, so what I said before, then it's forward slash user, lib, grub, i386, hyphen pc, forward slash again, you can run through this video again for yourselves, if you want to do it, you're going to have to do it anyway really, aren't you? but I'm just showing you how possible it is, it ain't too difficult, anyway, start everything again, space, forward slash mount, Forward slash again, lots of forward slashes. Don't know, like slashing, slash, 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 dot slash, 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 dot slash, slash. Right, HA1 forward slash boot forward slash grub. And I think that's it. No forward slash again. And there's that bit. Okay, we're getting near the end now. End is in sight. So, what do we do next? I have you ask, because you're going, oh no, draw me just we we'll open a little text editor, really, for grub. So via space mount, forward slash, hda1, forward slash, boot, forward slash, grub. And then we should get ready to go very soon. Oh, don't forget, menu, dot list, by the way. Don't forget the L in the list. Dot list. Don't forget it. Dot list. There you go. So capital, by the way, I forgot to tell you that. Right, if we enter I here, it will allow us to do a bit of grubbing. So... Type in I. So first we'll type in the first line is default space zero. Second line timeout space ten. 
The third line, there's only four lines by the way, there's not too many at all. Third line in its title, which is Tiny Core, or you could call it whatever you wanted to really, Tiny Core Super, Tiny Core Super Duper. So anyway, we'll put in Tiny Core. For, for our fourth line, is a kernel, sorry, it's five lines in total. The kernel is forward slash boot, forward slash, I made no boo boo there, see? Forward slash B, Z, capital I, don't forget the capital I, okay? Image that stands for, by the way, just in case you was wondering why it was there. But there is a reason why it's capital I, obviously, because the different words I use in code. So then image, and then quiet, and then finally, on the last line, intrad, forward slash boot, forward slash tiny core, dot gz. Now you now press escape, and then to save it, you click, <coughs> shift, obviously, and you want colon x. And once you've done that colon x, it will save them settings. And we're almost done here. Almost done. We're nearly there. And it will be up fine once you've done all this, if you do it correctly. So we're back in route once more. Now, basically in there we want to go and do some other stuff, don't we, just to finish it off. We want to get grub up. So type in grub. And there we are. Into grub. Now we're going to make a couple of extras here. Are you ready? Oh, you're steady. First we're going to do is type in root. R double O T. Don't forget that. Okay, got it. Root. There we go. Let me space that in there. HDA. No, I've made a boo boo there, I think. It's not HDA. It's going to come back of a mistake here. If I press enter, you'll see what I mean. There we go. Look, fake lever. So I'm going to do that again and do it correctly. See what I mean? If you do one mistake, you're buggered. Although that's only wasting five minutes of your life, so it's not too bad, really. So I'm going to do that again. So we're going to type in root. And we're going to close that, and we're going to put HD0, not O, it's 0, okay? So we're going to type in HD0, comma, 0, we're in the encapsulation there, after we put the 0 in, okay, nearly done, enter, here we go, file system, found our file system, oh, we're nearly there boys and girls, nearly there. Next we're going to type in setup, okay, setup, space. Encapsulate again. Ready, ready. HD zero. Encapsulate. Or whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm calling it. So there we go. Zoom, 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 zoom. And it's done all that for. We're all done in our grub stage. Right, all we do now is press quit and you're done. Now, basically, you've got to unmount your disk drive here. That's not your hard disk. That's the CD ROM that you've got tiny core on. So you just put, type in unmount. Space, mount, full slash again, <laughs> HDC, which is this drive now, I've got error here, but hey, it all worked. If you just reboot now, everything will be hunky-dory. Tiny Core installed, super duper. I'll show you another one later. Sneaky Linux out, Tiny Core, super duper. Love ya.